I'm showing you absolutely everything you need to know about using Horizon Client for Minecraft. And now it's been a little more than a year since I made the last video for this, and a lot has changed in that time, so make sure to stick around so you won't miss out on anything. Anyways, without further ado, let's get right in. So. To get started with Horizon, first off, obviously you need it. If you don't have it yet, I will link it down in the description below. You can press on the insert key on your keyboard, and that is going to open up the click GUI as you can see right over here. This is the click GUI. If you want to change the key that you use to open it, we can go into the chat, type in dot bind, click GUI, just like this, and then any key you want. For example, F. And now, as you can see, the key bind of click GUI is F. And now I can press on F to open and close the click GUI. As for the click GUI, all of the things here are utilities. They're sorted into specific categories. You can click on them to turn them on and click on them once again to turn them off. The ones of these utilities that have a plus, you can actually right click on these and then you'll get a little bit of a customization menu. As you can see, some of them do have more customization than others and some of them allow you to customize different things as well. If you hover above these, as you can see in the bottom left hand side, you'll actually get a brief description of what the utility does as well. And that's basically it for the click GUI. It's pretty simple to use. Now, as you can see, when things are turned on, they will be blue, just like this. And there are a few things that have been turned on by default right over here. You can see these on my screen as well. These are all part of the HUD or a heads up display. In vanilla Minecraft, your HUD is your hotbar, maybe your hunger and your health as well. And Horizon adds some stuff to that. As you can see in the bottom left hand side, I have some general information about my Minecraft world. And as you can see in my case, also a Horizon watermark. Anyways, we can actually customize those. Opening the click GUI back up, there's a few things we can do there. First off, I'll turn on everything that we have, um, which is quite a lot, as you can see. So here we are. Here is everything. A few of these are enabled by default. A few aren't. We have a radar, a compass, as you can see, some... Well, basically keystrokes, which displays what keys you're pressing, um, the radar, which displays where I am, and then a few other things. By default, not all of them are enabled. So I'll turn off the compass as well as keystrokes and the inventory viewer, which and the radar for that matter, which all aren't enabled by default. Anyways, now we have a few things on my screen. In the top right hand side, I actually have an array list. This is usually enabled by default and as you can see what that does is displays all of the utilities that I currently have enabled. Now in the top left hand side there's something pretty interesting. It is known as the tab GUI. As you can see I've enabled it right here and what that allows you to do is to navigate to the click GUI menu with the arrow keys on your keyboard. As you can see some people prefer this to the click GUI others don't me personally, I don't really use it, and for that reason, I'm just going to turn this off for right now. Now, as you can see with the HUD as well, this also has a customization menu, so you can customize completely what the HUD does and doesn't show. And of course, if you want to turn off things like the watermark, you can simply do that through here. In fact, you can turn off everything if you do wish to do so, but I'm going to not do that for right now. So now I'll turn a few of these actually back on again, just like this. I'll turn the tab GUI on as well. And now I can go into something right here called the HUD editor. If I click on that, I'm going to be brought into this area right here. And what this allows me to do is to change the position of certain elements of the HUD. As you can see, if I want the watermark to be up there, for example, or over there, I can customize that as well as the keystrokes. Let's say I don't want them to be overlapping with my information down there. Maybe I want to move them up there or to another location. That is all possible in the HUD editor. Then we can just simply click on exit or click on escape and then they'll have been moved. And of course, you can move them once again if you wish to do so. Anyways, I'm just going to turn off everything for right now. And as you can see, now my screen is completely clean, but I, of course, still have access to the click GUI area. And personally, I like to use Horizon 
just like this. Anyways, that isn't actually all because Ryan has something else as well, which is commands. I can open up the chat and as you can see, we actually used the command earlier to rebind the clicked UI to F. I can type dot help in chat just like this and what that's going to do is give me a list of all of the commands that Ryan has as well as a brief description of what the command does. Now, as you might have already noticed, instead of that in usual Minecraft, you would use the slash to prefix your commands. For Horizon, you use the dot. So you use dot give, for example. Anyways, let's take a random one of these commands and let's say you don't know how to use it. I'll take the bind command in this case. Let's say I want to use the bind command to what does it say? Bind modules to a specific key. Great. I want to do that, but I don't know how to use it. I can simply type dot bind in chat just like that, and it'll tell me the exact usage of the command, which is, of course, incredibly useful. Now, for the rest, as for these commands, I know you guys are going to be asking in the description. No, the nbts and dot give dot game mode, all of those things do not work for multiplayer. As for when I think it's going to be fixed, well, I don't think that is ever going to be fixed at all. I actually made a full video on why NBTs and commands for multiplayer and realms are probably not going to be coming back. If you want to watch that, that will be linked. Is that a pink sheep? That's pretty cool. That, that will be linked down in the description below. Um, and basically, for right now, that was that. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I do, of course, hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.